been stuck in this antelope since right at daybreak. He's busted us a couple of times, but I think we got him in a pretty good position. One of the keys with these is spotting a buck that's all by himself, and this one is. So we've got a pretty good chance on him. He's not real worried about us. He's feeding at about 175 yards over here. We're going to move over here and set up and hope he feeds by us. So follow along with us. what we like to see. Bloody arrow, except it's broke. I don't like to see that. All right. Let's go see if we can find this guy. There he is. Hold on, hold on. That one got <sighs> 40 yards, it worked out perfectly. We popped over over this hill, and he st we were 17 yards from him. He stood up, ran to 40, just hammered him. So he watched him go down. So here we go. We got our goat for the year. I don't know, he's going to be borderline Pope and Young, too. Well, he's not a giant, but he's a spot and stock public land on your own pronghorn. Uh, good shot. Didn't go far. The uh, Botech Destroyer did its job. Thing is quiet and fast. And, of course, the Spot Hog sight that 
I use these because they're tougher than nails and, and I'm kind of hard on equipment. So as you can see, I only have four of my uh, fiber optics left. So, but that's your spot and stock public land Wyoming pronghorn.